Hi everyone. Welcome. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Time for Stamping with Denise. Thank you for joining me. Um, tonight, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I have, over this weekend, I went to a stamping event. And I have so many new cards and projects to show you out of the holiday catalog. And I also received my swap cards from a swap that I participated in. So I have to tell you, I'm, um, another reason I'm doing this, I really was, um, so busy, got home so late, I just ran out of time to plan a project. But I'm going to tell you, I have a huge basket full of projects, full of cards that I thought I'd show you tonight. So let's give me just a second for everybody to get on. It's kind of weird not seeing myself on the screen. I'm hoping you all can hear me here. Um, let's see here. Okay, I'm trying to share this on my... There we go. Okay. Goodness. Okay, so the sh the card you're seeing right now, if you remember, is a card I made last week. It's that fun spinner card, okay? So, we do have a winner for that. And the winner for this card here is Martha Rogers. So, Martha, I'll be getting this card out to you in the mail tomorrow, okay? If you're just joining me, I was, um, the last few days, I was at a stamping event. It was training and started Thursday night and ended on Sunday afternoon. And I don't know if you ever thought there's such a thing as too much stamping. This was pretty close to it. I have a whole basket full and I know that you can't really see it this way, but I have all sorts of cards and projects and things to tell show you from the new holiday catalog. So we're gonna get started and do that. And the way I decided to or organize it, I thought I'd go ahead and organize it by the way they are in the catalog because sometimes I don't always remember. I wanna make sure I give you all the correct names for all the stamp sets and things like that. So Martha, I'll get this card out to you in the mail. So um, if, you're on, if you're on, let me know. I put the card or the camera down low so that hopefully y'all can um, focus a little better on the cards. Okay, the, the first cards I'm going to show you use the Twelve Hiding Suite. That's page six through eight in the um, holiday catalog. All of these cards are in the holiday catalog. Now this was from a swap that I did through the mail. This one was made by Kim Vogel. Um, very pretty card. I like that one quite a bit. So some of these I'm going to probably have to take out of their envelopes. Um, there's just... So I'm going to try to be organized here this way. We'll, we'll see. This one is still in the envelope. This one's called Thinking of You at Christmas Time. Let me tell you, or that's the sentiment from the 12 tidings. Let me tell you what I did. Thursday night, I went to a shoebox swap. And if you're not familiar with a shoebox swap, you let's say there's 10 people participating. You design a card and you cut the, the um, paper for each of them to make your card and then you're gonna go around and make everybody else's card. It's kind of a round robin, okay? Well, I went to a shoebox swap. It had 40 some people. So I had to prepare, tw I had to cut paper for 20 cards and had to have 20 cards already prepared to swap. So I got 40 cards there. Then Training started Friday, Saturday, and, and midday Sunday. We had some lectures. We had um, card swaps or 
cards that we made, projects we made. And so, like I said, I've, I've, I'm sure I've got well over 100. Maybe I should count as I go. So this is number two. This is from the Twelve Tidings. I don't know who made this. Let me see if they put a name on it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And I'm not sure exactly which event that's from either. So here's another card. This uses 12 tidings and has that pretty um, cardinal on it. And I love this, this uh, ribbon here. And I know that this was from the shoebox swap. This was one that was already made. It was from Pamela Bryan. So, very pretty card. That's number three. Number four, here's another cardinal. This one they've stamped on red with black ink. If you can see this one, they've stamped on very vanilla, colored it in red, and the beak is orange. So, let's see if I can see who, this is Nancy Jones. Simple, you know, you could add, really could add any kind of sentiment you wanted to for that one. That was part of the shoebox swap, I believe. Here's one that uses the 12 tidings paper. I'm not quite sure which stamp set that Merry Christmas is from. This is some beautiful red ribbon in our catalog. And there's no name on that one, so I can't tell you. I believe that also was from one of the pre-made cards from the shoebox swap. And I have one project using the 12 tidings. And it also uses the stars. We'll be seeing that later. And this cute little box is perfect for like if you wanted to give some cookies or candy to somebody for Christmas. Um, you know, put it in a little baggie, you know, tie it up with a nice bow, put it in here. And ha what a nice little gift that would be. So this is uses the 12 tidings paper. Um, let's see. The sentiment, I'm not sure where the sentiment's from. But, um, and then the stars, and we'll see those later. So, we're already up to six, and that's only out of one, um, one, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's see, let me, one suite of product, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, let me find the others. Oh, this next one. Oh, here we go. Is this it? Yep. Well, here's those stars. We were just... This uses the stars. Um, called So Many Stars. That's a good name for it. Page 11 of the holiday catalog. Uh, this is the peacock, pretty peacock, I believe. Yep. And, and the stars are die cut in gold. I think that's gorgeous. This one, I believe, was part of my, the... I believe I assembled this one, and it was part of the... Um, shoebox swap. So pretty. I don't know who designed it, but I like that one. Um, here's another one. This was one of the make and takes that we did. A make and take is you make it, you know, like in a class or something, or and you take it with you to go. So, I really like those colors. We use these uh, gems. I think these were the Christmas. I'm not sure which set they were. Hang on. Uh, yeah, these were the, all of these gems that on these cards, the ones that I put together are the holiday rhinestone jewels, and they're in all different colors that coordinate with um, sweets in the holiday catalog. So, um, let's see, here's another one. I did this one. This uses the stars. Another, again, very pretty. This one used the dark blue gems. I'm going to try to leave it still so the camera will focus so you can get a picture or get a good view of it. Here's another one using the stars. We've got some gemstones down here. The joy is out of that set. And that paper, I'm not sure exactly what that paper's from. There's so much in this catalog. So we'll have to find it. Here's another one. This one we made in the as part of our training, sending you love and plenty of cheer. May your days be bright throughout the year. So, there you go.
Okay, the next suite is the Wrapped in Plaid suite, and that's on page 12, 13, 14 of the Holiday Catalog. Okay, this one's just a very simple card. Almost looks a little bit masculine. I like that a lot. Um, the, uh, the papers from another suite, which is the, it has the ornaments in it. The name escapes me right at the moment. But you'll see a lot of it. It's from the Brightly Gleaming Suite. And you'll see a lot of that paper coming up. And this uh, copper washi tape was from a kit that we use. I believe it's in the annual catalog. And it's called the Tags and More Accessory Kit. And you'll see quite a few other things made with that as we go along. Here's one. Uses the wrapped in plaid suite. I like that one. That one's pretty. That was another one of our cards we made for our training. How is everybody tonight? Tell me which cards you like the best. I think this one is nice. Um, I think I got this. This was one of the pre-made cards for the... No, I put this one together. This was the... Um, in the shoebox swap, I believe. This card was designed by Janet Dahl. You again uses the wrapped in plaid. She's used gold foil paper. Use the Settles embossing folder. This is the designer series paper that goes with that set. I think that one's a very cute card. You could do that in all sorts of different um, um, color schemes. This one was a shoebox swap that I put together. I don't have a name of who put it together, but again, simple, kind of elegant. I like the blue colors, so use some of the um, clear, oh, I don't know what those are called. They're little gemstones. They're not really gemstones, enamel dots, I think, perhaps, but those are in the annual catalog. Okay, cruising right along more wrapped in plaid you got glimmer paper plaid paper use the nested dies some gems or plaid uh, tree I like that one quite a bit too oh, yeah I don't know who designed that one but it's a great card this is one actually I went to a different shoebox swap the night before the training and made a few um, very pretty I like that one. It uses this uh, frame, and I, I don't know the name of it right off the top of my head out of the um, annual catalog. Here's another wrapped in plaid. Let's see who made this or designed this. I don't know. Nope, don't have a name. This was a shoe one that I assembled at the shoe box swap. Okay, this is where that this is the set that that um, Merry Christmas came from. It came from the wrapped in plaid suite. Let's see. Marilyn Allen designed this one. I don't know if this was part of the shoebox swap that night or if this is from the um, swap where I mailed my cards off and got them in the mail. Again, another great use. I'm trying to go. We got a lot to look at. Another one. A little bit of plaid, just a strip of DSP right down the center. Very cool. That was from Shelly Pratt. That card's from her. And one more in that suite is um, the Merry Christmas is embossed there. The tree's punch. There's a gold star. I like the gold accents. It really ties in with this stripe. This is from Julie, Judy Tuttle. I believe this was one my mail-in swap where I got that from. And to go along with that suite, I have one, a couple of 3D items we made. My cards are all trying to slide here. They're trying to take off. I have too many of them already here. Oh, darn. Find something. 
to hold them here, otherwise they're going to be all over the place. Okay. When the, one of the swaps we did too was a 3D swap. This cute little treat pocket was made using the plaid designer series paper, and it's perfect for a couple Giadelli squares. Um, you could put some Hershey nuggets in it. It's just made from a six by six piece of paper. Really cute, you can find those directions. Let me know which one of these projects you like. Um, if there's something you'd like me to recreate or show you how to do, let me know, I'd like to do that. For those of you that are joining late, I was in some training all weekend, made a lot of products. I got some products in sh from share um, swaps. So I thought I'd share it with you because I'll be honest, I ran out of time to plan a project. So cute little tags made with the wrapped in plaid suite. Simply punched a circle. This is probably, that's the two and a half inch punch. Punched a tree out of the plaid paper, put a gemstone on it, put a, used some twine for the to tie it onto, I would stamp the to and from on the back and you'd have a cool set of tags. You could make a bunch of those and you could put them in this cute little box. Isn't that cute? Those are, these are the gold pizza boxes. You know, we've had the white pizza boxes for a while, but these gold mini pizza boxes are really cute. And um, this is the ribbon that's part of that suite too. They, these boxes are food safe they're lined so you could put cookies in there some home-baked goodies and look at that what a great little gift for someone you could put about you could probably put 12 18 maybe even 20 tags in there and give that as a gift someone like your perhaps your letter carrier someone something like that okay Next suite we're going to talk about, or the next stamp set, I guess, is Peaceful Bows. This is a card I received in a swap, probably the shoebox swap the other night. Here's another one. My friend Janet Angie made that one. So I like how the pine cones are, are stamped in our metallic ink. I think that's copper. It's either copper or gold, but I think that's very, very pretty. Okay, the next suite, one of my favorite, is the doo -doo -doo, Let It Snow suite. Yay! Okay, let me open this. Take this card out. There we go. Let's see who created this one. Oh, this is from my friend Annie Dorman. She made this one. This was one of the shoebox swaps I put together. Cute, simple. I like that one a lot. Okay, let me put that back in here. I'm having a class using this suite for, um, you know, a Christmas card class using this suite on November 2nd. So space is going to be limited. So if you're interested, be sure you let, um, RSVP this I put together in the shoebox swap. Another one using that set. Here's a cute one. Um, this was from the swap, I think. She's used the punch to punch out the uh, snowman, some ribbon. Um, these little gems are actually, I believe, with the twill set. So those are cute. Here we go. Another one. I don't know who did this one. Let's see if there's a name here. Okay, must have been part of my uh, shoebox swap. So just a little strip of gl red glimmer paper. And look, they use that uh, ribbon to make a little bow tie for the snowman. I think that's cute. I like this one. It doesn't have to be very, very fancy to be cute. This little guy, I think, can um, do so much. Now, I know that was one I put together during the shoebox swap. Here's one I put together in the shoebox swap. Now, see, I would have never put the thought of putting those colors together, but I think it works really nicely. 
and the designer series paper in this suite does contain Coastal Cabana and Flirty Flamingo, which are colors we you wouldn't expect to see in Christmas paper. But you know what? The Stampin' Up! artists made it work. Here's one. So it looks like that might be some hmm, coastal. I don't know what color that background is. Let's see. That must be Coastal Cabana there. That one's cute. Let's see if there's a name on that one. Christine Geese. I think that's one of the ones I got in the mail also. And this little cute little packet was my pillow gift for participating in the swap. The person whose card we mailed all the cards to, she made this cute little um, holder for the um, hot chocolate packet. Just so cute. You could put give that with a mug and it would make a cute gift. Okay, got some more 3D items using this suite. This cute little holder you could was um, designed by Janet Dahl. It's big enough you could put um, look some candy in there, a small gift. Um, so simple, easy, cute. I really like that a lot. Janet did a nice job. That was part of our 3D swap. Now, this one is going to knock socks off, I think. See this old guy? Isn't he cute? He was part of the 3D swap, and he was our winner. It's a little bottle that uh, from one of the hobby stores. They use the uh, mini um, curvy keep keepsakes box dies to make this. Used our enamel... Um, accents from the let it snow embellishment kit made a little hat for him and look at that filled it with goodies i don't know what kind of candy that is but um they made a little scarf out of this ribbon isn't that cute and he was the this was the winner for our 3d swap we all uh, voted on on which ones we thought were the cutest and i just think he's adorable so i don't have that the small curvy keepsake you might remember we had one that was quite a bit bigger and there were a lot of cute things made with it. This one is one of the cutest things I've seen using this small box. So, okay, let's turn my page on my catalog. Ah, uh, yes, okay. The next thing, set of cards were made using Memories and More. Our Memories and More cards. Are you familiar with those? They're um, actually for memory keeping but they can be used to make greeting cards with. So this card base here is pre-printed with this tag design. This, these two were stickers. See, it came with, um, comes with sheets of stickers that you can use on them. Simple cards, and this is good for people who don't want to stamp or don't want to buy a lot of supplies, <coughs> but want to make their own Christmas cards. So let me show you a few more using that set. <coughs> Excuse me here. This back here is embossed with the wood grain embossing. Add a little strip of glimmer paper, a little twine, and there you go. I made all these as part of my training. Here's another one, Tis the Season. This card, this card front was bigger. Um, cut it down to fit this base. Added some gemstones, a little twine, and there you go. This one I think is really cute. To Santa at the North Pole. Looks like a letter to Santa. These are both, this, the striped and the Santa letter are both memories and more cards. And you get, an, I don't know how many cards, let's see, you get, in the memories and more card pack, you get 54 double-sided cards six each of nine designs and they come in three by four inch and four by six inch sizes and then there's six sticker sheets so this really all we did is cut this uh, front panel down attached it to this embossed piece put some of this fun ribbon on here that's part of the let it snow suite of products and some gemstones and there you go Happy everything. 
This one's really cute. This is actually a belly band that goes around this card, if you look at that. You open it up, and inside it's got a um, little extra cuteness there. Something that maybe the receiver would not be expecting. Okay, and then these were a couple more cards that we had left that we didn't use. So I'm sure you could find great ways to make those into cards. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, now we're going to talk about the moose. Let's see. Where is the moose here? Okay. Mary Moose, page 27. Oh, gosh, I'm running along. Okay, I'm hurrying. I'm, I tell you, I'm only about halfway through my box, if that much. I'm going to move a little faster. This Mary Moose is on page 27, and he's a punch. I think he's cute. After bison, moose are my next favorite animal. You know, wild animal. Um, let's see if this, who, if this has a name. For those of you who are joining me late, we uh, I went to a training this weekend, and I have hundreds or plus new projects to show you. So I just thought I'd go through. I, and I love the sentiment, says Mary Chris Moose. Use the designer series paper, the plaid. Um, some glimmer paper, a little ribbon. There he is trucking along. This one, I made it a shoebox swap. And just kind of cut the glimmer paper and the white paper to kind of look like snow. I think that's cute. Okay, that's all Mr. Moose. Now, I'm going to... I have one card made with this beautiful stamp set called Light and Peace. And I think she's pretty. And it's kind of a easel card, so it could set up like that on a, on a desk or something. Just gorgeous. And let's see. I, I don't know who made this. I'm not sure whose card that was. Uh, let me move my basket over here a little bit closer. This is another favorite set of mine. Um, this is the... We're going on. And this is the Brightly Gleaming Suite. Page 30 to 32. Let me see. This is Margarita Heinemann. This, there's, there's that designer series paper. I didn't don't have so many cards in this as I have projects made with it. And I'll be showing you those here in just a second. Okay, so that's a pretty simple card. And I love this ribbon that has the Merry Christmas printed right on it. Don't even need to stamp a sentiment. This one is from Jeannie Nielsen. I must have got that one in the mail, the, my mail-in swap. Here she's used the copper uh, foil to accent the copper stars in this card. Now I told you about my shoebot or about the swaps. This is the set I use for both of my swaps. Um, this is the card that I designed for the shoebox swap on Thursday night. We use the Stamparatus to place our place the um, little ornaments, stamp the Merry Christmas in the gold ink. Put a little gold, um, gold pearl, little ribbon. Simple. We got out. We've got a pretty peacock base with a knight of navy mat. And then this is the card I made for the um, mail-in swap. Let me take this out of here because I want to show you one of these details. I did something I thought was pretty cool and I'd never seen done before. So this first thing I did was on this very vanilla base. I stamped this design. It was three designs. Again, I used the Stamparatus to get it all lined up using the metallic inks. Then, after that dried, I took the embossing folder. I don't know what it's called, but it's one, the one with the writing. And Can you see? I just embossed the edge of that. The edge of the um, embossing folder ends in this design, so you really don't see that it's the edge. Sometimes cards will put a piece, will put a strip of designer series paper there. I just thought, I don't know. I was inspired. 
So I really like that. I'll probably be doing something like that again. Punched out this beautiful paper into the shape of the ornament. Stamped this in the metallic, put a little gem on it. Used our pretty peacock, put some of that cool ribbon on it. It says Merry Christmas. And there you go. Okay, those are all the cards I have for that set, but I've got several projects. Um, let me get this back. Let me show you here. One of the things, this is kind of big. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. We made a, a gift bag topper. You know, at Christmas time, we're always giving Christmas. we got to give gifts, and our gift bags are so easy. But we made this topper for the gift bag. It's simply a piece of paper, cardstock folded in half, embellished with designer series paper, and some of the uh, punched ornaments, and glued, you know, or attached there. Super simple, makes a really cute card. I know you guys can't see it real well based on, but I did want to show you that. So, a great idea for any, any kind of um, gift giving needs. So, and the last things we did using this suite of products were we made a bunch of cards. Well, let me show you first. This was one of my 3D swaps I got. This uses the designer series paper. The stamp sets from the annual catalog, I believe. But if you notice, they made it look like a book. Isn't that cute? Take this little band off and look at the Hershey Kisses in there. Or Hershey um, Nuggets. Isn't that cute? So cute. Okay. Great little way to give maybe coworkers the letter carrier or somebody like that a little extra something let them know you're thinking about them and that you appreciate them okay now final one we made these tags using this suite the brightly gleaming suite there we go these tag bases are from the tags and more accessory kit in the annual catalog it comes with tag bases it comes with these white ones with the uh, edge design, and it comes with three different colors of twine. I'm not sure exactly the colors that are in that. I'm going to say maybe that, I don't know if that's coral. That's probably Granny Apple Green, and that's maybe Rich Razzleberry. But anyway, it all coordinates. See, here's, here's what I have left that I didn't use. We used some of these, um, the extras on some other cards, too. You'll probably see them as we go along. So, I have that left. I have all this twine. This is where that copper-colored um, washi tape came from that was in a couple projects, and you'll see it again. And then it has this pack of copper um, little clips. These are the cutest things and use them on a couple of projects you'll see here before the night's out. Okay, sorry I'm running long, guys, but I really wanted to share all these things with you. I'm gonna get moving here. So, I'd like to hear what you like. I see that there's several of you on. Tell me which, so far, what you're liking. I do like the copper, let me tell you, that's a favorite of mine. Okay, next I've got one card here. This is from it was done by Barb Ryder. This must have been part of the shoebox swap. Uses the cup of Christmas. And isn't this cute? She's used some of the puffy paint that comes with the snowman suite to make it look like whipped cream on the top of the hot chocolate. So cute. Okay. Let's see. Okay. You, you all have probably seen the advent calendar. It's the, the box with the little drawers in it. Well, it has a stamp set that goes with it. And this um, image here is from that set. Use the plaid paper. I'm not sure exactly which set the Joy's from, but it makes a very cute card. It's a gate for full card opens up. This card, look at that. 
They're pretty. This uses the late, these are lacy, it's a card kit or card blanks with these detailed cutouts on them. They're in the annual catalog. This tree though came from the most wonderful time product medley set and then it's on a silver foil. These, I, I love the scalloped edge on these envelopes. Makes a very easy, easy Christmas card. Okay, we're moving along here. Feels, oh, let me see. Okay. Oh, the next in the catalog is the Feels Like Frost suite of products. This paper and this um, came from that suite. The Let It Snow comes from the Snowman suite. But I, uh, I love the colors. It's very pretty. And this sentiment is also from the stamp set called Frosted Fo Foliage. Uh, and I like how they use the nested dies here and they cut out in silver and the green and the white and kind of built up around the sentiment. It's unusual. That's Marvina Bloomfield. She's here good. This card is from Lisa Harris. So a couple more there with the Feels Like Frost Suite. Page 43 in the catalog. There's the still scenes. It's kind of a snow globe. Um, and they also sell like a dome you can purchase to put on there and little snowflake sequins to make it really look like a cool um, you, know, you know snow globe this card was done by Donna McCain okay now we're going to move into let me see wait a minute I think I missed something here where am I at maybe not Okay, I guess we're going to move into fall. I've got something here that got out of place. I'll just move into fall. And on page 46 through 48, it's the Come Together Suite. And boy, do I have a lot of cards using that. So we're going to go a little bit quick. And we're going to do these all together. It's that and the Day of Thanks. They're kind of all in here together. So go kind of quick through these so a lot of these were cards I made using the or during my training on Friday Saturday Sunday so great cards um, lots of different designs this little heart I'll tell you where that came from if there's a punch for that I'll show you that the uh, pumpkins were stamped and then we used uh, Wink Estella and that kind of gave, it pulled the color from the ink that we stamped and kind of colored them in. This I actually made at the shoebox swap that I went to on Wednesday night. It was done by Beth Kozik. And I think that's so pretty. Here's another one with similar colors. This ribbon, along with this twine, are part of the Gather Together suite. It's the come together ribbon combo pack and they come together in the pack this ribbon is so soft it is it's so easy to work with and you'll see it in a lot of projects I'm going to show you so there's the gather together or you know another <clears throat> Thanksgiving card I liked I had several items with uh, these leaves these die cut and embossed leaves I think those are so pretty it cuts and embosses at the same time um. Look at that. This one I put together at the shoebox swap. Look at all those layers. Just looks like they're fall these leaves are falling out of the sky. Okay. Here's another one. This uses the baby wipe technique. If you're not familiar with it, you put uh, you use a baby wipe and you fold it up. You put um, your different color inks on it and it makes a great um, kind of variegated. Um, design color scheme these little leaves come from the same place that the 
um, little heart came from that I showed you a minute ago. Some more get for the come together sweet. May this season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. I really like this one. Kind of simple. It's got a few layers on it. Kind of elegant. So glad to have you in my life. She's, I think that's a sprig punch. She's used some of the dyes out of the set, a little bit of the twine, the subtle embossing folder on the back. Put the pumpkin on the inside too. That's Bertha Schwartz. I like that card a lot. Okay. Whoops. Okay, sorry guys. Um, this this one I got in my mail in swap. This was from Don Bourget. I think that's pretty. I like that uh, plaid on that paper. This one uses the Day of Thanks, the Happy Thanksgiving, the feathers in copper. Really pretty there. Got some 3D items, a lot of 3D items made using this suite. It's a cute little box, can hold candy. Isn't that cute? Who doesn't like a cute little box? You know what? You could use it. You could even put a small gift in there. It's pretty sturdy. <coughs> okay, we made this mason jar. Put that ribbon around it. Die cut some, some of the leaves. Punched a hole in it, attached it to the ribbon. Cut some of the DSP out in a circle. Attached it. great way to give a gift. This was one of our training projects. Oh, I'm sorry. You're out of the mouse the screen. There you go. Um, this was part of our 3D swap. This cute little purse made using the some items from the Come Together suite. Isn't that cute? You could put a small gift, some candy. They've st even stamped this tissue paper with the copper and um, so it all blends in for the season. That's very good. And we made this box here. It was um, you could do, it would be great for putting cards in if you were going to give someone some cards. Again, you could use it for a small gift, some food, maybe you're making some cookies. Another nice option there. Okay, the last of the Thanksgiving type items right here. This is the Harvest Hellos stamp set, and it's got a coordinating punch. This one was made by designed by Jennifer Hill. It has a pumpkin looking stamp. This one's Tamara Davis. This was Sarah Edwards. This one's Monica Davis. But the pumpkin can also be an apple. Can you see that? Oh, I'm, I'm out of the screen, sorry folks. Okay, so we got a, you can see here we got a couple pumpkins. Those look great there, okay. This pumpkin here was punched out of the foil after it was run through the embossing folder that goes with the um, ornament set that I had uh, showed you. The Brightly Gleaming Suite. There's an embossing folder and it's called, I believe it's Hammered Metal. That's it, Hammered Metal. So it was run through the embossing, the foil was run through the embossing folder and then punched out. So pretty. Now here's the same punch and stamp set, but it's used to make an apple for someone who didn't feel well. So, just use your imagination there. Okay, page 50, there's a cute little stamp set that's called Birds of a Feather. This little 3D item is kind of a matchbook gift. 
Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this open. Hmm. Oh, I know what's wrong. Because there was a, the paper clips on there. Duh. Okay. The person had their card on that, too. That's why I couldn't get that open. This was designed by Gwen Duckworth. So, she put the bird on that. And you can open it up. Like this. This is really cute. It says, enjoy the season. Hoping the season builds heartwarming memories. So, there we go. Cute, cute, cute. Um, and on that next page, page 51, there's a set called To Every Season. And it has things in it that you can use to make. Valentine's Day, Halloween, Fall, and Winter. And so, remember I showed you the little gold heart on that one? It was used using the punches that go with that set. There was something else we had that came from that little punch set. Let's see. That was the leaves on that one. So here's the leaves again. Here has some nice sentiments with it. This paper here is from the, actually the Halloween paper. Sweet. Okay. Oh, and one more thing that we made using that little, see this little pizza box here? This is the heart. You're so sweet. Open it up. Set of note cards. Look at these. There's five, three by three note cards. There's five of them, and there's five envelopes. See, we got the, we have those great three by three envelopes. Here's one that's called Let It Snow. This matches the box lid. You're so sweet. This one's Happy Halloween, Happy Valentine's Day, and Thankful Each Day for You. So you have, it has these sentiments. It has the coordinating punch set that punches out the snowflake, the heart, the bats, and the leaf. So such a cute, such a darling little, little set. And again, you can fit five note cards and five three by three envelopes in this little decorated pizza box. The pizza box is food safe, the inside's um, coated, so you could put cookies in, you know, a couple cookies in there, depending how thick they are. Okay. Um, <laughs> on to Halloween. We're almost done, folks. On to Halloween, page 52 to 55. It's a couple different Halloween sets. This is part of the Monster Bash suite. So cute. This is a, this word wicked is a separate die. Makes some great Halloween cards. I love the little spider and this little this little frame around here. I'm having a uh, where's my notes out here. I'm actually having a Halloween class on October 12th and we'll be using the Monster Bash suite of products. This is this next card is designed by Jen Kud Kudza Kudza and uses our cat punch, it uses our folder. These are the dies from the Monster Bash Suite. Um, and the Wicked is the die, is a die separate. Here's one, it's called Eat, Drink, and Be Scary. We've got our paper from Monster Bash, this great kind of lacy ribbon, what do they call it? Basic black scalloped edge ribbon. They have these enamel shapes. They're so cool. They have um, black and gray dots. They've got the birds. They've got skull and crossbones. They've got some tombstones. Really cute. And the sentiment is embossed there. It is made by Kim Allen. Um, few, I've got some 3D projects I want to show you made using this suite of products too. Oh, and I think you're going to love these. 
See this cute little coffin? Yep. See those coffin boxes? Yep, those you can buy those from Stampin' Up. They come in a box or a package of 12. There's so many ways to decorate them. But for this, this was one of my classes this weekend. We decorated it using the tags, 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 but we'll get to that next. Um, here's a cute little, oh, I'm sorry, cute little 3D item using a variety of different holiday. Look at that, open it up and look, there's a treat in there. And they put a little magnet in there. There's a little bitty magnet right in here and right in here under the DSP. So it just slap, snap shut. So cute. Be good for like your ch child's, um, your child to take to school for Halloween. This uses Monster Bash, the designer series paper. Open if you dare. Let's see. These are tricks or treats in there. Yeah, I'm trying to. And there you go. Some Hershey Kisses covered with that designer series paper from that suite. So cute. Um, one last 3D item. Whoops. Look at that. Okay. The designer series paper, the little bats, the happy Halloween, and a couple Hershey Kisses in a little matchbox, matchbook type um, presentation. Okay. And I think this, I think we got two things left. You're like, there's not, can't be much left. Okay, we talked about the tags, tags, tags that this sentiment here came from. This card here uses one of the tags from that set. So versatile, I would have never thought of some of these. The boo, isn't that cute? And it comes with little dies that'll cut out that um, those little jack-o'-lanterns. These were all part of my training. Here's one, Season's Greetings. The tag was from Tags, Tags, Tags. And then you've got the coordinating dies. This was some of the uh, twine from the uh, accessory kit, the tag kit. This is like a gift card holder using uh, some bags, little copper bag, copper accented bags we have. The tag express your elf, isn't that cute? Here's one, it's all about the candy. We've colored it like candy corn. Here's those, um, one of those copper clips I showed you about that came out of that tag kit. Here's a tag, here's the copper color washi tape. And here's another gift bag, just used a, a lunch bag, like you're, you took your lunch in to school when you were a kid. There's a piece of the pretty peacock, the paper from the brightly gleaming suite, this is the back of a tag um, from the tag kit. This is one of the sentiments from Tags, Tags, Tags. This is the put punched out of gold of copper from the Brightly Gleaming. We've got some twine on here. We've got the washi tape. Makes a cute little gift bag. I'm glad we're almost done here. I've got two more things to show you and because um, I'm running out of room here on my desk. And these two cards were made with the uh, a very special stamp set at the end of the catalog. And it's the Nature's Beauty. And for every Stampin' Up, every set Stampin' Up sells, they're giving $3 toward mental health organizations. So this little rabbit and this little deer are part of that set. Okay, guys. I'm going to let you go. I will talk to you soon. Please share my video, and I will be back next week with a project. I promise you all. Take care. Have a great day. Bye now.